got two of these. This is the Sticker Picture Atlas. Uh, oh, pfft. well. Hey everybody, it's Becky. Welcome back to my channel. I have a huge book haul for you guys today. I've been talking for the last few months about how I became an Usborne Books and More consultant back in the summer, and I was having myself my own kickoff party, which you're allowed to do when you're a new consultant. And so as a new consultant, I'm able to be basically the hostess of my own party. So my party finally ended. I had a great party and I was able to get a lot of books from my girls in our homeschool room. So I'm really excited to be sharing with you guys today what I got from my Usborn party. And it's a lot of stuff. I wish I had the time to like sit there and like show you every book and kind of go into more detail. But this video, <laughs> this video will be really long if I did that. So if you see a book that you're interested in, you have questions, let me know and I'll try my best to answer it in the comments for you. But I'm gonna to try to keep it you know, somewhat short and not show you details in every single book. But if you do have questions or if you do have a certain book you wanna see more on the inside of, then just let me know. So I got a lot of educational books. And Usborn is known for their Lift the Flat books. Typically you think of a Lift the Flat book for a young child or a baby but not with Usborne because they have amazing educational books that have flaps and it's, studies have shown that the more, child, the more a child um, manipulates what they're learning then they actually retain more of what they read or what they're doing. So that's where the Lift the Flap books come in really handy for books like this that are educational or reference books. So I got the Lift the Flap Telling the Time book. My youngest daughter is going to, she's already learned a little bit about learning time and she's going to be learning more about time so all these pages have all these flaps that you can lift up and learn all about different times on a clock and how to read time on a watch am and pm how long is a century so it's not just time on a clock it's also 10 centuries and decades and things like that so i picked this one up i also got the big book of stars and planets even though my oldest daughter is going to be doing astronomy next year and then just in general i think all of us in their house are pretty fascinated by the stars and planets and so this one is a fold out book just like the body book that I showed you in the last couple videos um, but this one let me show you so they have these really pretty pages all about the solar system and stars and planets but there's also several pages that fold out like this which as you can see it's pretty big so it's just really interesting and beautiful for the kids and me to look at and learn about the stars and the planets. I also got the Lift the Flap Times Tables. My youngest daughter is in second grade and she's gonna be doing, she's gonna be starting multiplication kind of towards the end of the school year. I noticed from her, her math curriculum, they're gonna be starting that. So I picked this up for her as a really fr fun way to understand and see multiplication, how it really works, what it really means. And it's got all these flaps for her to look up. It's got all the facts down the side. So the two times table, the three times table. I think this is really neat at the back. It's got like the big times table. It's got this wheel that like spins. So really neat. And I wish I would have had something like this when I was learning my multiplication tables. So in the next book, I got the Usborne Time Traveler. It is a hardback book that basically takes your child through history from the perspective of this child that can like go back in time. Like in medieval times, what, what it would look like in the different jobs of people, Vikings. Um, it's also got the Roman world, ancient Egypt. So I just thought this was a really fun addition to have to our history studies and something that really makes history more understandable for kids. You know, you tend to think, well, it happened a long time ago and those people were different than us, but they had a lot of similarities. They lived sometimes the same way, but they also lived differently. And so this book shows the similarities and the differences of people in all these different time periods. I also got The Great Wildlife Search. This is a really, really neat book. If your kids like those look and find type things, that's basically what this book is. This is actually a combined volume, so it combines two of Usborne's books. So you get The Great Undersea Search and The Great Animal Search in this one book. And so I really like it because it breaks up these different um, pictures by landform or by uh, environment or habitat. So like homes and gardens, so it's got all the insects in this one. Cactus City, so maybe some animals and insects you would find in the desert. Uh, between the trees, um, conifer forest, the swamp, the Arctic, under the sea, the rainforest, light and dark, Antarctica. So all these different places that you may be interested in or your child may be interested in or something you're doing a study about in school, this is going to be perfect for that because not only does your child learn about those things, but they're also finding out more about the animals that are in those types of habitats and continents and things like that. 
I also got the Live the Flap Fractions and Decimals. It's similar to the Times Tables one, so obviously there's flaps. Um, but in this case, it's about fractions and decimals. My youngest daughter is not quite ready for this yet. She has done a little bit of fractions, um, but not much. But basically, all these flaps show you different visual uh, representations of different types of fractions and decimals. Again, making it really easy for kids to understand what fractions really mean and what decimals really mean when they look at these different pictures and kind of see it. I think it really helps. So I have that. I also have See Inside Weather and Climate. I'm really excited about this one because I'm just so fascinated by weather. I think it's really neat. You've got different information about climates, different world climates. Um, what's the weather like today? Wind speed. Um, where do clouds come from? World climates again. Water and clouds. So of course it shows the water cycle. And all these great flaps that you can open and close and read different information. So I got that one. I also got the lift the flap measuring things. As you can tell, I love these lift the flap books. I think they're really neat. Um, but again, this one is same thing with the flaps, but it's about measuring, so how long. It even comes with this little ruler on the side. Width and height, how long is this leaf? And it gives little activities for the kids to do with the little ruler. Um, and I mentioned that my girls and I are gonna be doing a landform uh, study. We're also gonna be doing together a the Expedition Earth study from Erica at Confessions of a Homeschooler. It is her world geography unit that she's created. Um, and I'll try to remember to link that in the description box below in case you're interested. But we're going to be studying all the continents and the countries. And so I bought these. I got two of these. This is the Sticker Picture Atlas. Of, oh, pfft. well, the Sticker Picture Atlas of the World books. And like I said, I got two, one for each girl. And I just thought it would be really fun as we're going through all of these different countries and continents um, to find these animals that live in these different places. And again, I think it's something that you're you're finding the animal and you're picking, peeling the sticker off and you're putting it where it belongs on the right continent. It's another way for the children to manipulate what they're learning and it's gonna be easier to remember for that, for them. So you've got Australia and all the animals of Australia, Western Europe, North and Central America. Just really pretty, really big book with really pretty pictures. It's kind of like a glossy page. I just thought it was really fun and something that we would have fun working through together as we're studying uh, geography in the different continents. So I got two of those. I also got It All Starts with a Seed, How Food Grows. Originally I thought, well, we don't need that book because my girls both know where food comes from, but it's really a neat book that talks more about, talks more than just about where food come from. so it talks, talk, comes from. It talks about pollination and bees with these really pretty pictures. Um, different types of fruits and it shows the seeds inside those fruits, uh, the, the types of things that grow in the soil and roots, nuts, all kinds of really interesting information about seeds and how plants grow and where food comes from. So I think this is a great book to have for any, any age. If you've watched my channel for a while then you probably know how much I love the Usborne Illustrated Science Dictionary, the Math Dictionary, the illustrated thesaurus so this should be no surprise to you that when this came out i knew i had to have it and it is the usborne illustrated grammar and punctuation who doesn't need a reference for grammar and punctuation no matter how old you are i think there's always something we could all brush up on with different things both girls are doing grammar obviously with school and so this is going to be really handy to have for that i also picked up the story of inventions and how many times have you talked about wondering where an invention came from or how it got started or who invented it this book basically tells you that it's got tons of different inventions in here let me see if i can find air travel transportation food household inventions like the dishwasher communication like the telephone or a tv clothing medicine um what else books and sticky messages braille where braille came from cameras i mean just all kinds of stuff chocolate is in here i mean all different kinds of information so this is the type of book that you can have just as a reference something fun to flip through and read through for just little facts and tidbits of information that really make for a more well-rounded education and more of a well-rounded person when you know a little bit about a lot i think that's a really good thing so i'm excited to have that also, I got this for my youngest daughter. I don't know when I'm going to give it to her. It may be in her stocking. I may save it for the car drive to Disney next year. I haven't decided, but she loves stickers. And so this is the Mosaic Sticker Flower Book. They have, a, I think, a couple more versions of this. Um, and basically, it gives you all of these stickers, which they do say these are repositionable. Yeah, with over 2,500 repositionable stickers. But basically, they give you tons of different 
stickers for flowers with petals and stems and different centers like all these in the back are stickers and then you have these little pages which are really shiny so that way you can pull the sticker off and on and it shows you these different floral designs that you can make with the stickers that you have in the back don't know what i'm going to give her that but at some point she's going to get that also for her i have quite a few things um, she loves animals as most kids do and us born has a really great set of beginner reference books I showed some of these before, not these exact ones, I showed other ones that I have in other Usborn hauls that I've done. Um, but she loves these. They are perfect for her reading level. It's not too much information. It's a mixture of illustrations and real photography. So I picked up a few more. This one's kind of for both of them, but um, just about weather and it's written to a younger child. So there's not too many words on each page but they have really pretty bright pictures and she has been pouring over these books since this order came in last week. Um, so I love that she has taken an interest to them. She's carrying them around. She takes like plays games with us and quizzes us on these questions and things that she's read in these books. And I think that's amazing. Um, so I got one about weather. I got one for living in space, woodland creatures, which is really cute. Um, eggs and chicks, night animals, whoops, bees and wasps, penguins. I got one about your body because we're going to be doing anatomy with her, anatomy with her this year in science. So I picked this one up for her, and then the rainforest. I also kind of got this one. At, you know, I picked this one because we're going to be studying the rainforest this year we're in our geography program, and so I wanted to have this for her to have her own book that she can read about the rainforest. And as you can see, it is a mixture of real photography with different artwork, just really pretty pictures, tons of information, but not, not overwhelming. So, and they're hardback books, and these are $5. So they are great for kids, they're great for teachers, they're good to have in a library, they're good for homeschoolers. So I love these, she loves these, and I want to get her as many as she wants because if they want to read, that's a great thing. Um, along those same lines, at this stage with her, it is a little hard to find books that she's interested in that she can read because you know when you're in second grade you're still you can read but you're still struggling with certain words and your fluency may or may not be perfect um, but I, the way you get more fluent in reading is to read but when you can't find books that you can read then how do you read so it's kind of a process to find books for her that she can read that she's interested in and when I found a couple of these from Usborn, I got her some more. So I actually got one of these books in my new consultant kit and she loved it. So I got her the other three. She got the other two in a previous haul. And this is the last one. This is the Lily the Elf series. And this is the last one, The Precious Ring. She loves these books. It was the first chapter book that she ever read on her own that she wanted to read. Um, and she literally read it in like two days and she loved it. But so it's not too many words on each page or, or some pictures. Um, but definitely something that is on her level that she's interested in. So I got her the last one of those in that series. And then I got her a series that she hadn't had any, anything from yet, but she loved it. And I'm glad that I got the big set. It actually came with this book bag also. Um, but I got her the 15 book set of Billy B. Brown. So you get 15 in the kit that I got. You get 15 of these different Billy B. Brown books. It's on the same, pretty much same reading level. So not too many words on each page definitely at her reading level and she's retaining what she reads which is important so she loves these so i'm glad i got the 15 the 15 uh set because i didn't know exactly how many to get and i think that'll last her for a little while and she loves having the book bag too i didn't think she would actually use it but she's been putting all of her books that i got her from us born along with like these little reference books she's been putting all of these in that book bag and carrying it around so She's loving having those and I'm loving that she loves them. That's so, so amazing. Such a great feeling as a parent when you get your kids something that they really like. That is a good feeling. Um, for my oldest daughter, I got her this series of books, one of which she still has in her room. She's already started reading it. This is The Impossible Quest. Technically, I believe this is supposed to be kind of like a teenager series, um, but I know a lot of adults read these as well. And so I got her the five box or the five book set, which is every book right now in the Impossible Quest series on the assumption that she's going to like them. I wanted her to have them all. And also for her, she's really into rocks and gemstones and things like that. Both girls really are, but I got this for my oldest daughter. It is a rocks and minerals spotters guide. 
So it tells you all about the different types of rocks and minerals that you may find, you know, where you live or if you go on a hike or something, which is really neat color pictures. I got that for her. And the last thing I got for both girls to kind of use in homeschool is this famous painting set of cards. Um, I thought it'd be something really neat to have just one card that we talk about every week. So like have it in the room somewhere. We talk about who painted it what style of painting it is. I think it's 30 cards. Yeah, there's 30 cards in here. Now there is one by Michelangelo that we're gonna put stickers over certain areas, if you know what I mean, to make it a little bit more appropriate. But I do think it's important to know what these famous paintings are, but art is really one of those things in our homeschool that we tend to neglect because we've gotta make sure we get everything else done first. We haven't taken much time to study art. So I thought this would be a really good way to sneak it in there. Um, that both girls and I can get a little bit better education on different artists and the paintings that they created um, by just having one of these cards and studying it every week or every month. So I picked that up. So that is everything from my Usborne party haul that I have to show you guys. I really had a great time having my own party for myself, as silly as that sounds. It was really fun. And any of you guys that ordered from my party, I really, really, truly appreciate it. You guys have helped me to bring this order home so that me and my girls can pour over these books together and learn from them for years and years to come. So I really, really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this haul and what I got. And if you have any questions, let me know. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.